Hi, this is Eric with Noteworthy Software. I wanted to make a quick video to show how to install new object plugins in Noteworthy Composer 2.75 and how to update your other objects at the same time. And I start with the Noteworthy Composer forum. There's a dedicated subforum under the tips and tricks section called object plugins. This is where all of the object plugin functionality that is available for Noteworthy Composer 2.75 can be found. So I'll go there. And in this case, I'll show how to install a new object from Mike Shawalik, brace.ms. So I'll go into that topic. And Mike has attached some NWC text that can be used to activate, to de both demonstrate and activate the object. So I don't yet have this object installed. So I'm going to start by viewing this clip. So I'll select it. I'll right click and say copy and then I'll go into Noteworthy Composer 2.75 and I'll use edit paste as new file. Now there's an alert that occurs. You can't see it here. I'll click on it that shows one unknown user object in this clip. That is the brace. So what we need to do is go to tools, manage objects, from here, you can see the brace.ms object is used once in this clip, but it's not installed. So the way to get it and the way to check for any updates to your currently installed objects is to use online sync. So uh, if you have any firewalls set up, this needs to connect to the forum and compare all your existing object source code with the forum's version. So you'll need internet access. Press OK here. It's now going through, and it uh, all of my objects are up to date, but I have the one new object, brace.ms. So I'm going to double click that. Uh, this shows you the source code for the object. Now, you don't have to know what this means, but this does give you an opportunity to see what will be added to your object plugin library if you install it. This has looked good, so I'm going to go ahead and click install. Uh, I get a confirmation. I'm going to say OK. And it is now installed, and I can close the Manage Objects, and that functionality will be available. And as you can see, there is now a brace added where uh, the clip has shown how to use uh, the brace inside a Lyric. To see the exact details of the brace definition, you can right-click on the user object anchor and we can click the brace.ms name and here is the details that define the brace. You can check with the brace plugin help documentation to read more. You can use this little question mark, click on any of the items, including the actual name to learn more about it. And that this concludes this demonstration.